Okay, I haven't done an update in like over a month now. So um, I think my last update was at 18 weeks and I am now 23 weeks and one day. So it's been a minute. Um, really just everything has been going by so fast. We've been so busy. Um, but I did want to sit down and just do like a 23 week update. Um, we did our anatomy scan at 20 weeks. I think I was 20 weeks and two days or no. Oh, excuse me. Um, I was 20 weeks, two days according to them. I was exactly 20 weeks according to my calculations, which I guess two days isn't really that big of a deal. Um, we did our anatomy scan. Everything looked good. It was a good 20 minute scan or so. Uh, we found out the gender, which we posted a gender reveal video, so I'll have that somewhere if that haven't. Oh, there's Riley. Um, I did, oh, she's doing some cleaning apparently. Um, <laughs> Uh, we did a, a, a gender reveal video, um, so if you haven't seen that, you can go watch that, um, which is pretty fun. Um, and we found out that we're having a boy, so we're kind of playing around with boy names. Uh, I brought one up, and Jake is dead set on it, but I don't know. I thought I was dead set on it too, but then I was like, I don't know, maybe not. But the more, like, I keep backing out of it, but he's like, no, that's it. Like, I like that name. So I don't know what we'll do. Um, I might settle on the name. The name might be more, you okay? Yeah. The name might grow on me a little bit more. I mean, I, when I first said it to him, I was like, I really like this name. And then the more I thought about it, at first he didn't like it. And then, and I liked it. And the more I thought about it, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. Is it the name? And, and the more he thought about it, he was like, that's the name. So we're both kind of like opposites now. We both kind of both have two different, we, we both went, we switched places. Um, so that's kind of funny. Ah! Anyway, we got some pictures. Um, so we have a picture, she did a little 3D one for a second. Um, the 3D ones at this age still kind of creep me out. They don't look quite cute yet. Um, the little feet. The hand and arm. Oh, that's upside down. Um, this one's creepy. <laughs> it's a profile. Um, and then... Uh, well, actually, that's not a profile. That's one looking straight on. So those ones are creepy. This is supposed to be his profile. And then this is the... It's a boy picture. <laughs> um, which is kind of weird. It was taken from a weird angle. It's kind of like back really far. So you see his bladder. I don't know. It's, it's a weird... You don't see like very much of his legs. It's a weird shot. I was kind of like... I was like, this isn't the best, like, potty shot. They call it a potty shot, you know, the one that you get in between the legs to tell the gender. Um, but anyway, yeah. So baby now, according to our bump, our updates, are like, my weekly apps, um, I, I think they might be a little off. I think he might be measuring a little bit big already because when we went to our 20 week, most of my apps were saying baby's 10 ounces. And they did his weight measurement and he was 12 ounces. Now, obviously, those things aren't, like, always super accurate, so it could have been off, but... They say like, you know, in the beginning they're more accurate and then towards the end it's kind of hard and like they can tell you like, oh, it's a six pound baby and then out pops an eight pound baby. Um, but they said 10 ounces and the lady said 12 ounces. So I think he might be measuring a little bit bigger um, weight wise. But now my apps are saying eight inches long from crown to butt to rump to booty, butt. Um, and then... Uh, 1.2 pounds. So I'm imagining he's probably like 1.2, 1.5 pounds, um, which is crazy. It's a big baby. Um, I haven't gained. Uh, I I still haven't gained anything. Um, every now and then I'll gain some weight. Like I'll gain like a pound or two, and then I will take a crap <laughs> and uh, lose it all. So. <laughs> TMI. Um, the constipation is still a hit and miss. It's not as bad as it was a while ago, but it still happens. And I think I'm like, oh, cool, I gained a pound, and then I didn't. Um, but we're only 23 weeks, so I'm I'm okay for now. I 
I mean, I think even if at my weight, I'm overweight to begin with, so I think even at my weight, if I don't gain anything until the last like couple months, that's fine. Um, I've heard of people like not, people who are like over overweight, I've heard of people like not gaining anything at all. Um, I think I'll definitely gain weight, um, but we're just, I'm just waiting. I'm still trying to, I, I've, you know, I'm still doing my exercises and everything, but I'm not. I'm not being too hard on myself and I'm not also, I'm also not like letting myself completely go where like I'm eating bonbons for breakfast. Um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much it that covers all the big stuff. Um, I see movement from the outside just sitting down. We were at the um, windshield repair place the other day and I was just looking at my belly and I'm just seeing it like Boop, 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 moving and Jake can see it from the outside. He doesn't even have to like touch it. He, like he, you can like see my belly moving. Um, and they are strong kicks. At this point with Riley, I was still getting used to the kicks, but this bug, oh my goodness. I am terrified for when I get a little bit farther along. I think he's gonna be one of those babies that kicks the ribs and uh, I mean, like I'm short. I, I'm five foot, five foot one on a good day, um, so uh, I don't have much room. Riley didn't kick me in the ribs at all, but this one, I have a feeling he might. He already kicks up like really high, but he's kicking like crazy, and it's insane. And it, it's also the weirdest thing because apparently I have a anterior placenta, I think is what it's called. Um, my placenta is in the front, so like supposedly you're not supposed to be able to feel the kicks as hard. Well, I do. So either, either this dude's like really strong or I don't really know what, but I feel these kicks way stronger than I even do with Riley and I didn't have an anterior placenta with Riley. So that's kind of terrifying. Um, and then also it's kind of weird cause like I didn't feel this with Riley, but like I can feel him kick like down, like as if he was kicking like my cervix, like inside, like not an outside outwardly kick but like an in kick and it's weird to feel my insides like I don't know I don't know how to describe it it's just a weird feeling but yeah 23 weeks almost 24 weeks not almost 24 weeks yeah just turned 23 weeks 24 weeks and a little bit over a week um or a little under a week and yeah I think we're gonna schedule um, my next appointment for my doctor's appointment is um, just general checkup and then I think the one after that in October will be my um, glucose test which I did find with Riley I passed that thing with flying colors um, but I don't know if I'll do so well this time I have a feeling I will but you never know um, and then uh, I think Jake said he wants to go where I'm getting way ahead of myself here but Jake said he wants to get a 3D ultrasound done. Um, so that'll probably be at like 33 weeks, which like I say that now and I'm like, oh, that sounds really far away, but I just filmed my 18 week video and now here I am doing 23 weeks, it feels like yesterday. Um, so this thing's gone by way too fast. And that's another thing. I have been <laughs> ruining my child because I have been <laughs> like her best friend and I've been doing, sleeping with her at night, which is, different because I never liked sleeping with her at night. I loved her sleeping in her own bed and me having my own bed, but now I'm getting to the point where I'm like, dude, time's running out. Like, I'm not, it, it's not gonna be just you and me anymore. And it's just, it's breaking my heart. It's pulling on my heart strings and I don't know what to do. So I'm just like, I'm constantly like, okay, you can do that. Okay, come cuddle with me. And I'm being really soft on her which I'm sure I'm gonna regret once this baby comes, but until then I'm just kind of enjoying it. I'm gonna take in every moment I have of it just being me and her, and I don't know. She's also gonna be three in November, so in under two months, no. I will have a three-year-old, less than two months. I'm not gonna be three. You are gonna be three. No. You are. No. You gonna stay two? Yeah. I would love that. If we could do that, if we could figure that out, I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right. I think that's it for this video. Um, thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Oh, wait. I almost forgot. Before I turned off the camera and everything, but I, I wanted to do a belly shot. I feel like I'm finally starting to look pregnant every now and then. So, we'll see. Let's see. <laughs> okay. So, I normally, I've been doing these. 
I haven't done it in the last month, but I've been doing, I did them for a couple weeks there. Um, I don't know if I should do it with the jacket down. I don't know. Should I take the jacket off? Uh, but there's the bump. It's kind of there. These pants aren't really the best to show. Um, try this way. Maybe this way you can see more. Watch out, watch out! I still haven't like popped, but I'm, I'm waiting. I think it'll be closer to 28, 30 weeks where I start actually like looking pregnant. But that's a little glimpse, I guess. So we'll see how it goes.